Okay, so, um, part of the video got cut, so, uh, I didn't actually say it properly, so I'm gonna have to redo these scenes again. And, uh, this time I'm gonna be a little quicker about it, because, um, it took a while. Uh, so after chaotic dash to the station and finding ourselves seats on an otherwise deserted carriage, we promptly crash, looking at the time close to midnight. It's a little surprised that if you take this train... Nako's fast asleep on Lily's surf shoulder, and I can only barely muster the energy to stay awake It's the excitement we had a little while ago didn't really help. Uh, I'd probably be pretty depressed about going back to school if my brain was actually working. <laughs> As it is, though, the sight of the nighttime scenery sh scrolling by is surprisingly beautiful. My loud yawn is nearly wholly drowned out by the clackling of the train tracks and the old carriage rattling. So tired. And whose fault is that, Hiseo? She really does toe the line between insulting and amusing sometimes, though I manage to wring out a weary smile. I look back at the window at a reflection visible on the clear pane. Truth be told, she's perfectly correct. If it weren't for that little interlude a few hours ago, both of us would have a lot more energy. On top of that, we both would have, we both had to take another bath, very nearly making us late for the train's departure. Yeah, yeah, it's my still getting into the bath with a guy's dangerous thing to do. Evidently. Sorry, I guess I kind of took advantage of that situation back there. Well, I didn't exactly hate it. Yay. Uh, she trails off. I look back at her. Her eyes narrow, and I see slightly reddened cheeks and small grin in her mind. Obviously, elsewhere, I say it. I knew the possibility of it happening was there. Of course she did. I knew it. You're just as dirty-minded as I am. She quickly coughs into her free hand and making the, her disapproval crystal clear. That's a rather crude way of putting it, obviously. Oh, and you would suggest, I merely had a healthy adolescent sex drive. Yes. So in other words, dirty-minded. <laughs> Almost seem seeming to sense the moment, Hanako mumbles quietly as she furrows her brow in Lily's lap. Uh, Lily, Lily's look of disapproval melts away as she gently smiles and strokes her hand on Hanako's long, black, dark hair. All I can do is watch, watch and smile. If someone were to ask me what, and I fell in love with her, I wouldn't be able to answer. The best I'd be able to come up with is, it just happened at some point, but I didn't realize it. If someone were to ask me why I loved her, though, then I could answer much more easily. You really love Hanako, don't you? She gave me a deep sigh and nod, warmly. Yeah, it's a pity. We have to return to school. She seemed so relaxed while we were away. Let's talk about school. Indeed, exams will be starting, too, which will be another thing to deal with. Think you're ready for them? I think so. I don't think it'll be pleasant. Pleas it'll be a pleasant period after all, though. Can't say I disagree with her. The exams completely slipped my mind for a while now that I've seen it. Though Lily does seem more studious and a little more, more regimented than me. At least they say it's only a couple of weeks. On the bright side, it won't take long for the summer holidays to arrive after our exams are finished. We could come back during the holidays if you want. For a moment, she thinks of this notion, and I think of her face becomes a bit distant. I can only guess she's reflecting on what just happened here. That would be good, I think. I nod approvingly at her smile. Smile at her. Summer together with Lily, the idea seems like the perfect way to spend our holiday. Uh, as the excitement of our trip to Hokkaido. It seems strange to be right back in the usual day. See you So soon. Indeed, it feels like a normal day, the same as any other. Well, that's what I'd think anyway. To tell you the truth, the atmosphere isn't of the entire class. No, the entire school has changed. Obviously, it's exam time. While an undercurrent of subdued trepidation had previously pervaded the class, now that the exams are in sight, it's boiled over into frantic studying, really seen otherwise. Other One day until exams start, it's terrific. Really, that instead of studying, we went and wasted our time up north. We were such model students, too. <laughs> oh, um, glancing around the class, even the bubbly, ever-energetic Misha seems oddly deflated. She sits at her desk, nervously chewing her, a pen, while Matuo lectures from the front of the class. Wait, on closer expression, I do believe she's eating it. Uh, that's stress for you. Uh, t tearing my eye from the sorry spectacle, t I turn my attention elsewhere. Hanako frantically scribbling in her notebook, her face mere inches away from the page, seemingly trying to record every word that leaves Matuo's mouth. Shizune was well, Shizune. <laughs> she schools a cucumber. She sits di diligently taking notes with her attention, wholly focused on the front of the class. Truth be told, it's what I should be doing as well, if not for the fact that I feel like I have a pretty good handle on what's being covered already. I wonder how Lily's doing while she does have a good head on her. She's plenty on her plate. Unlike her, me, her class wraps duties, taking care of her Hanako, her other social contacts, her extra English studies. This girl really does take on a lot. 
lunchtime bell rings and a sigh of relief from Ruth over the class. Muto being no exception, I get the feeling he much prefers the more laid back atmosphere of his normal classes to the frantic pace of exam prep, which we're subjected to right now. He chan. Help me. <laughs> I lower my eyelids to half mass, making a clear intention of doing quite the opposite. Help me, help me, help me. Not going well. Chi Chan's gonna be fine, but I think I might die. Am I gonna die, He Chan? Will you let me die from all this work? How muddling. Given the fact that she's neither the brightest in the class nor the most diligent, it is an, a great surprise that she's finding it hard to cope with the workload. Sorry, Misha, but I've got my own work to do. I thought you and Shizune would be studying together over the long weekend anyway. Studying is too boring to waste on a hol uh, to waste a holiday on He Chan. Uh, shopping together was much more fun, wasn't it, She Chan? <laughs> it's only now that I realize she's going to be looking over to us, and that Misha's arms have been moving likely all this time. I must be really zoned out to not have noticed. Uh, what is it with the girls in shopping anyway? Even Lily and Hanako dragged me out with them a couple of times. But you went anyway. It's rare to see a guy that likes sh going shopping. Well, my role would probably be best described as pack mule. Yeah, I've, I've been there. I can't say I share your enthusiasm about the experience. Back to the exams you studied after you got back from the days off, didn't you, Shizune? Of course, he chan. It's only sensible to study in the days before. <laughs> Erg. Misha makes the sound of a vaguely similar to the dying cow as she realizes her folly and unceremoniously flops on her desk, betrayed even by her best friend. <laughs> Judging from Shizune's quite fresh to look at Misha, she probably told her to study as she did, as most friends do. Don't worry, you can still gain some marks if you start studying now. Maybe. Misha does seem a little overly amused. It seems the bubbly balloon of everlasting cheerfulness has cruelly popped. Ouch. Signing goes unnoticed by the moping and earns a quick poke in the shoulder. It barely takes a moment for Misha to get back into form. Oh, and what did you do over the weekend, Hee-chan? Just took a trip north with Lily and Hanako. It was pretty nice. I see both of them narrowing their eyes at me. They're Mine's surely in the gutter. The fact that they're suspicious and founded, are founded makes the situation all the more awkward. We just studied and went sightseeing. There's nothing more to it. Hmm? After, after such a fragrant lie, I realized that it may not be the, have been the best step considering Shizune's connections and her total lack of restraint while it comes to questioning people when she suspects them of telling untruths. I really had no idea of how she was going to take it, but she'll find out eventually anyway. It isn't as if it's really her business, whom I date in any case. And yes, Lily and I are going out now. <laughs> While Misha receives the news with an enthusiastic smile, she then gives off a mild surprise, somewhat masked by her cool demeanor. Whoever you date is your business. I hope you two go well together. Misha gives a good look and says this is the most quarter... I could possibly receive on the matter. Uh, that's all I really wanted, really. Uh, after she says this, she only begins to sign something else, then stops herself and shakes her head at Misha to prevent her from translating it. <laughs> Normally, I think of this strange enough, but the awkwardly casual wave Shizune gives before walking off with Misha until adds to my confusion. Shizune has hard Shizune is hardly the kind of person to pull up, punch, or communicate without forethought. I shrug at the shoulders at the duo's beha odd behavior and look towards Hanako's desk, but see that her chair is empty. She definitely was here before, so I guess she didn't feel like waiting. I'll grab some food alone then. Cafeteria food for the win. <laughs> Walking down the hallway to the unused room that's become a second home to the three students in particular, I mournfully look down at the plastic wrapped salad roll and juice box in hand. The cafeteria food is really unappetizing. Maybe I'll consider this my penance for my recent indiscretions. Opening the door, I notice one less quiet figure than I expected. It's strange, despite knowing, having known Lily for months, I can't help thinking back to the very first time I opened the door and saw her silently sitting in the sunlight. And just as she did, she slowly opens her eyes, unmoving as they are, and calmly addresses me. Good morning, Haseo. This afternoon, I think. Has Hanako been around? She skittered out of class without me even noticing. She cradled her cheek thoughtfully as I take my seat and my bag place, taking its place against the closest leg of the table and my unsatisfying meal neatly set out in front of me. She did appear for a time. She said she had to study for upcoming exams and left for the library. Uh, we find ourselves not entirely believing her words. <laughs> At least her intentions are in the right place. She is sweet, but she needn't go this far to give, let us have our space. I might talk uh, to her about it sometimes, probably for the best. For a while, we quietly eat our meals, Lily elegantly nibbling on her sandwiches and sipping her tea as I eat what tastes like a garden sandwich in dry dough. The atmosphere seems slightly strained, neither of us knowing quite what to say to each other now that our small talk has dried up. Eventually, we both finish our food, with no conversation forthcoming for quite some time. Eventually, Lily's soft voice breaks the silence. A lot happened back there, didn't it? Hmm. 
Again, silence with both of our minds on the same topic, though. I think I may have feelings on that sorted out. I know everything happened in kind of a hurry, but I don't regret anything that happened in Hokkaido. Not one thing. Good man, good man, Hiseo. Slightly tense, I take her hands in mine, half to feel her, uh, half to settle my own nerves. I stand by my words back there, Lily. I love you and I won't leave you. I only wish for you to think the same. She silently reflects on for this for a long time, which feels like an eternity. Her reverie comes to an end as she takes one hand up from mine, placing it over them as she leans her body forwards and stands out of her chair. After a moment's hesitation, her face is slightly pensive, her lips meet for mine for a brief moment. My mind feels as if it briefly stopped at that moment, barely registering Lily sitting back in her chair and smiling at, back at me, so slightly red in cheeks. Hearing that makes me happy, so I would be glad to stay with you. Maybe it would be good to slow things down a bit compared to before. We still have school after all and all our exams. She gives a mischievous giggle which proves contagious. <laughs> that might be a good idea indeed. Do you think you'll fare well in your exams? It's only one day until they arrive, as you say. I probably should have studied more, but I think it, I've got a good head enough to manage. That said, I had to bat off Misha and Shizune. Is your class worried about exams? Has mine? She lets out an exasperated sigh, all but confirming it. I'm thankful for the atmosphere becoming a bit lighter. I think so. I've already been asked for help by two of my classmates, and there'll no doubt be more. Think of it as your first training in becoming a teacher, maybe. Uh, that's probably a good way to think of it. On that note, how are you finding or faring your English studies? I remember it was far from the strongest subject. A few sentences you memorized to speak of oh, hell. Damn, right on the mark. You got me. If you don't mind, would you be able to possibly help me in that regard, please? It would be my pleasure, uh, Haseo, but in exchange. She lowers her eyebrows at me, her crookish nature tentatively coming to the fore. No problem at all. You probably better you're prob you'd probably be better off with some help in your studies though. <laughs> She seems to smile at me, one of those girlish victories that nearly makes me blush. I get the feeling she's aware of how to use her face and twist my judgment, so I probably should be on guard more. Here and now, though, a study group seems like an expedi expedient way for both of us to shore up our more lacking skills. The school bell rings out, reminding us that time is not going to stand still. Ha, huh, lunchtime is over already. Sure is easy to lose track of time here. Uh, this room's far from the other clubs and activities, not much... Sound can reach us, that's probably the most reason why. A place from all the others, alone with just one person whom she loves. As Lily stands and collects her bag and cane, my thoughts are cast back to the time when we spent in Hokkaido. As before I go, Akira and I are having a homecoming party in my room tomorrow. Will you be able to come? And back again. Uh, my schedule is free, so I should be able to make enough room in my study to make it. Good, good to hear, Sayo. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're back from Scotland. Once exams are over, we should have some more time to ourselves. Hmm, maybe so start holidays start soon after two. We can start the holidays with Tanabata then, just as we promised at the school festival. She brings her hand to the cheek and laughs nervously, recalling the event as I silently think for myself, managing to remember. It seems rather odd to react in such a way, though it's not like I never saw her embarrassed before. I'd better be going farewell, Haseo. Bye. Whether it's out of habit or some small fragment of normality, I hold up my hand in farewell as consciously what I'm doing now. I think I'm beginning to see the bigger picture, not only with Lily, but also my life ahead. The chains of my past are finally breaking. Um, yeah, so, um, th th that's that scene. Um, like I said, uh, my first recording didn't work properly, so I had to re-record it. So, um, there's going to be a weird break between, uh, those two scenes. So, moment the momentary present so steps for a waltz. So yeah, uh, like the video and subscribe and do all that lovely stuff and be sure to wait for more. Later.